Good morning. I'm Reb Myron. I'm a minister through Pathways of Light, and I've been a Course in Miracles student for 40 years. This year, I'm going through the lessons and asking Jesus to clarify for me, and then I'm writing from that clarity, and that's what I'm sharing with you today. So let's get started. I'm looking at lesson 115. <clears throat> These are our review lessons. Paragraph one, uh, salvation is my only function here. My function here is to forgive the world for all the errors I have made. For thus am I released from them with all the world. So my function is simple and easy to do. I only need to forgive all my errors. How hard could that be? You would think we'd all jump on the bandwagon and get it done. And yet that wasn't my experience. I clung to my errors as if they were my salvation. <laughs> Looking back on it, it seems insane, except I still see the tendency to resist forgiveness at times. I truly don't understand that. I suppose it is the ego, the split mind that is working overtime to keep me interested in the world. Here are some of the thoughts that come from the ego. Maybe you will recognize some of them. You, he, she, they really did that. I really did it. Why should I be let off the hook when others are suffering from my errors? How can I stop caring about the problems of this one I profess to love? I try and try to let this thought go, but I just can't. What's wrong with me that I keep judging? There are other thoughts as well, but it's just more the same kind of thing. What I do when the ego gets going and I feel myself being pulled into it is to mentally shake myself free. The world is waiting for me to do my part so it can be freed. I remind myself that I am not the character in the story. I'm just watching and deciding what I want to believe. I have a front row seat and I feel all that she feels. And this has convinced me that it is time to forgive this decision to experience separation and, forget and um, specialness. I have lost interest in it and I'm ready to go home. The more I forgive, the happier and more peaceful I am. So I know that I'm on the right track. When it comes to forgiving my brother, I know that this must be done for all our sakes. This passage from Lifting the Veil makes this very clear. <clears throat> Think who your brother is before you would condemn him and offer thanks to God that he is holy and has been given the gift of holiness for you. Join him in gladness and remove all trace of guilt from his disturbed and tortured mind. Help him to lift the heavy burden of sin you laid upon him and he accepted as his own and toss it lightly with happy laughter away from him. Press it not like thorns against his brow nor nail it to him, unredeemed and hopeless. Paragraph two, my part is essential to God's plan for salvation. I am essential to the plan of God for the salvation of the world, for he gave me his plan that I might save the world. So how is it that me forgiving what I see is going to save the world? Well, that one is simple. I'm an aspect of the oneness. What I forgive is forgiven for us all. And I must forgive for the oneness to be whole and return to God. It is as if we were all one big brain <laughs> that was dreaming a billion different dreams all at once. The brain would have to stop dreaming to awaken. If it were still involved in even one dream, it would still be asleep. So I'm just doing my part by awakening from the dream. It doesn't seem like much, but it is essential if we want to awaken. And as I awaken, I can help other aspects to wake up, just as Jesus is helping us. Well, not only that, everyone who's ever awakened is helping us to pay attention to the truth in our mind, the Holy Spirit. So let us all do our part in forgiving the dream 
and then we can dream a happy dream for a bit and God will do the rest. Paragraph three, only hours say salvation is my only function here. On the half hour, my part is essential to God's plan for salvation. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. If you found it helpful, then please like it. And if you haven't yet, uh, subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with another lesson.